In this video, I am going to show you the complete full stack web development roadmap for 2023. And before we start, I want to mention that I have made separate videos on front end and back end roadmap as well. The links will be provided in the video description. But today I will be talking about the full stack web development. So if you don't know what is full stack web development, then let me tell you that to become a full stack web developer, you must learn a wide range of skills. Unlike front end development, Developer who is responsible to build only the user interface and a backend developer who focuses on the server side coding which includes creating or fetching APIs, connecting applications with databases etc. So unlike a front end and back end developer, a full stack web developer is responsible to create full fledged web applications and websites. They should know both the front end and a back end along with database, debugging of websites and many many more. So in order to become a full stack web developer in 2023 you can follow this roadmap which I will be talking about in this video. So without wasting much more time let's get started. The first step to become a full stack web developer is to learn the most fundamental skills that are HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now here HTML stands for hypertext markup language which is used to build the structure of a website whereas CSS on the other hand stands for cascading style sheets and it is used for styling and beautifying a website. Finally, JavaScript is a programming language of the web and it deals with the working and functioning of the website. Now once you are done with the fundamentals, then at some point you will need some front-end frameworks that will definitely make your life easier. These include CSS and JavaScript frameworks. CSS frameworks like Material UI, Bootstrap and Tailwind stands very nice. Basically these let you write CSS in a more managed way and gives you some pre-built components like navbar, banners and cards out of the box. Whereas JavaScript frameworks like React, Angular and Vue are absolutely crazy. But these are a little bit harder and time consuming to learn. These are used to write JavaScript in a more easier format and basically allows you to develop web apps faster and easier. These includes concepts like component according to which everything that makes up the website can be a component. And in this way we can split the entire web application into smaller components and style each component separately. Which then reduces the time and effort to build a website and also it removes all the complexity. So that's why learning a JS framework is absolutely important these days. Now what I recommend is to learn React because it is the most in demand framework these days and also very popular. And once you are done with React then I also recommend to learn Next.js which is another great tool that uses react and introduce new concepts like server side rendering and static side generation to build a website which is very powerful than an ordinary react app. Next.js is a complete framework that uses react and consists of a lot of features that doesn't exist in react. Now moving forward you need to learn TypeScript that is a programming language which enhances JavaScript and brings new feature to JavaScript and makes it a statically typed language that is easy to write and debug. As the name suggests, TypeScript introduced type systems in JavaScript. It is a superset to JavaScript. The TypeScript code ultimately needs to compile to JavaScript in order to work in the browser. It is basically used to check errors early while development. So at this point you are done with the front end part and now let's move to the back end. The first thing you should learn is a programming language. Because as we already know that JavaScript is a programming language of the browser and it is not supported outside a browser. So you have some options like Python, Java or Golang but what I recommend is to learn Node.js that is a JavaScript runtime and it is supported outside the browser. Which means that you can use it to play with the file system, HTTP request and so on. Which means that it can be used as a server side programming language. And also it is the most popular out there especially to build large scale applications. Node.js stands out perfectly. 
Also, it is the best programming language to build chat systems and real-time applications. And the best thing is that it uses the same JavaScript, which means that with just one language, you can do both front-end and back-end. Now moving forward, you need to learn a framework. A framework makes the development easier by omitting a lot of complicated code. In case of Node.js, you should learn Express, which is a framework and it takes away all the complexity which makes Node.js extremely easy and powerful. Powerful. Others also have their own frameworks like Python as framework called Django which makes backend development a lot easier. Similarly, Java holds Spring Framework, PHP has Laravel Framework and Golang has Echo. A framework also reduces the amount of code one should write as a backend developer. Next, you should know a little about Git and GitHub which helps you manage your code. A version control system is a tool that helps both backend and frontend developers to collaborate and control the changes they have made while programming. Therefore, a version control system increases the project speed by allowing developers to interact, reducing errors and recover the code if it is deleted. So you should be familiar with the basic commands of Git and you should at least know how to upload your code to GitHub, cloning and merging etc. Now the next step is to learn a database. Because with backend you can use a database to store all the data and for this you can either use relational database or non-relational database. I recommend to go with a relational database like MySQL first and once you get used to it then feel free to switch to non-relational database like MongoDB. So at this point if you follow along you can call yourself a junior full stack developer and you can also apply for jobs. But if you want to learn more then you can learn topics such as API development, socket.io which is a package that is used to develop chat systems with Node.js, learn authentication and memory management. You can also learn testing which includes integration testing and end-to-end -end testing. Finally in order to remember all the things that you have learned you need to build applications. The best way to learn anything is to build projects. You can build clones and in this way you can enhance your skills and become a better developer. So guys that's it for this video. I hope you find this video helpful. For more videos like this please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon next to it. At last thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next time.